So let's have a look at the kitchen inside this cupboard and we'll go through how to use it and how to set it up. So pop open these two latches here. And when you get in here, there is a, a, a safety latch which is being closed into this hole. So you just pull that to yourself and then hook that into the little guide. There's a blue lever here that you need to press and then grab from up here. This is, this is the, um, the serving bench, so that will just slide out. So it's from up here, press that pull that all the way out, that does come out and then that will click into place. Now let's have a look at how to drop down the legs. So let's drop down the legs, there's a little latch here, you push that backwards and then the legs will just drop down and then there's a little wing nut here, turn that around and tighten, turn that around and tighten. So with our water and our sink, we have the plug in here. When you're storing it, have that tap down and our pumps are off at the moment. We have another video that we've shot that we'll link you to, which shows you how to use the water here. So we have a cupboard here, a little um, storage space. Now this first drawer here will have your keys in there. You have your user guide for your cooktop and we give you some wa spare water hose. That's all in this drawer. And this is your outlet for your water from your sink. We have a little tea towel holder here. Just make sure that when you do close it, if you have trouble opening it, sometimes this can move in transit and can be caught on this side of the lip. Just have a glance in and, and make sure that that hasn't come out in moving because it'll get hit here and you won't be able to slide it out. Then we have here a cutlery drawer. This is removable, so if you didn't want that in, you could take that out. And then our cooktop itself. So a little latch there to stop that from moving in transit. Now, we'll have left these foam on here. They're a good idea to actually leave them on because when you're transporting the trailer and it's moving around, those little black jet covers won't move around. So that's handy to keep that there. And then finally, we have our serving tray here at the end which slides the whole way out and then slides back in. So to close up, we already have our serving tray in place. We bring our wind guards in, one on each side. And put that little latch there. And that's ready to go down. Just with our drawers, there's a little latch here which will hold this in place. Just make sure that is latched and it's not gonna come out. Both of those, that our tea towel rail is in. And then we need to put our legs up. So just turn our wing nut here, tighten that back up. Turn the other one. Tighten that back up. Now there's a little hole in the bottom here which we need to line up and then push that latch back in place and that's nice and secure. So press this blue latch down here, that'll unlock the slide, slide it all the way in nice and smoothly. If you find that you have any resistance along the way, don't force it because you may have left the gas line or the water line still connected accidentally. So push that all the way in, that will lock into place and then we need to close up this latch here. Then finally, to close our door, our rubber seals, our pinch seals are quite heavy duty, so they do need quite a decent push to get the latch to go into place. 